Hello students, welcome. In form 2, previously lesson 10, we were dealing with the writing chemical formulas. So in lesson 11, we are dealing with chemical equations. Okay, a chemical equation represents a chemical change by use of uh, chemical symbols and also formula. The formula of the reactants are written on the left hand side and those of the products are written on the right hand side. Remember, we have done uh, equations in form 1 when we are dealing with the word equations in that chapter 2 of symbol classification of substances. Okay, if you are having an equation like magnesium, magnesium, and it is reacting with oxygen, so these two atoms of magnesium and oxygen are the reactants because they are in the left hand side then the product will be magnesium oxide that means what is formed when magnesium reacts with oxygen that one will be placed on the on the right hand side so the arrow is the one now to guide you so whatsoever is uh, behind the arrow will be the reactants then whatsoever that you find you find after the arrow will be the product side so we are told the formula of the reactants are written on the left hand side and those of the products are written on the right hand side. Okay. There to write a correct chemical equation, one must write the correct formula of the reactants and also products. For example, uh, this was word equation. So for you to write this in a chemical equation, you have to know first of all the correct symbol of the reactants or the formula of the reactants and also the product. So how are you going to write the chemical symbol of magnesium? Magnesium is written Mg. Remember we are told the chemical symbol of an element, uh, the first letter of a chemical symbol of an element is a capital letter. So this M is capital letter, but as oxygen, oxygen O is capital letter. So that is now the, uh, the formula of the reactants. Then to write the formula of the product, the magnesium oxide, you will just try to remember the, our previous lesson. We said if you want to write the formula of magnesium and oxygen, you have to know the valency of magnesium, that is 2, because magnesium is number 12 with electronic configuration of 2A2. So for it to become stable, it can lose 2 or gain 6. Then that means losing 2 is better because it requires less energy for magnesium to lose 2 electrons rather than gaining 6. So the valency of magnesium is 2. Because we said valency is the number of electrons that an atom loses or gains to become stable or to attain. It is electronic configuration or during a reaction. So oxygen, the valence of oxygen is 2 because it is having an electronic configuration of 2, 6. So for it to become stable, it can gain 2 electrons or lose 6. So gaining 2 electrons is better. So after that, we were interchanging the valency. So 2 will come this side, the other 2 will, will go the other side. Then we have a common factor, which is 2, 2. So divide, we divide here by 2, 1. Then we divide here by 2, 1. So that means the formula of the compound of magnesium oxide, that's the product side, will be Mg, because we don't write 1 in chemistry, and O. So that's what we mean in this point. So we are told to write a correct chemical equation, one must write correct formula or correct symbol of the reactant or the correct formula of the reactant and that of the product. Okay, let's go now balancing a chemical equation. So what is balancing chemical equation? This is the process of making the number of each kind of atoms on both sides of the equation equal. For example, the example that we're using here, magnesium reacting with oxygen, given a magnesium oxide, in balancing chemical equation, this one is not balanced. Because when we, we talk about the number of atoms in each kind, let's talk about atom of magnesium. Here is one, and magnesium here is one on the product side, so they are equal. But to check the side of uh, the atom of oxygen, here is two on the left-hand side, that's the reactant, but here it is one. So that means it's not balanced. And a chemical equation will be balanced or a chemical a balancing a chemical equation will be the process of making the number of each kind of atoms on both sides of equation. That means the reactant side and the product side to be equal. Okay, a chemical equation is correct if it is balanced. So a chemical equation like this, this is a chemical equation, but this is not balanced. 
So it's not a chemical equation. It's not a correct chemical equation because we are told a correct chemical chemical uh, equation is uh, correct if it is balanced. Okay, an equation is also balanced when the number of atoms of each kind of the reactants is equal to that on the product side. Like in our case here, it is not balanced. So for us to make balance, we have to put two here and we put two here. So now it will be balanced because we have two magnesium atoms on the reactant side and two on the product side. The magnesium now is balanced. Talk about two of oxygen here and we also have two oxygen atoms on the product side. So this equation now is balanced. So it will be a correct uh, chemical equation. Okay, we are told an equation is balanced when the number of atoms of each kind of the reactant is equal to that of the product side. This is because we are told atoms are neither created nor destroyed during a chemical reaction. Okay, uh, there we are having the following guidelines should be observed when writing chemical equations. So when you are writing chemical equations, these are the steps that you are supposed to have a look at it. Okay, the first one. You are supposed to write the chemical equation in words. Remember, you have to write that equation about that reaction in words. So a reaction has two sides. It has the left-hand side, which we call reactants. Those are called reactants. In our case, magnesium and oxygen are our reactants because they are placed on the left-hand side of the arrow. Then we are having products. So in our case, our products are magnesium oxide. Our product is magnesium oxide. Why? Products are placed on the right-hand side of, uh, of the equation or after that arrow. So, first of all, you have to write the chemical equation in words. For instance, we have taken copper plus oxygen, gas, we are going to get copper 2 oxide. So this is writing word equation, and we have done this in Form 1. But in Form 2, you are supposed to write that equation in chemical equation. You have to balance it and bring a chemical equation, or which is balanced. But during the exam, if you are told write a balanced chemical equation that will be formed when copper reacts with oxygen, and you write copper plus oxygen, which will give you copper 2 oxide, you are wrong. Because you are no longer a form 1, you are a form 2. That means the teacher is required for you to submit or to bring a chemical equation which is balanced. Okay, Romeo 2. Write the correct chemical formula for both reactants and products. So in our case here, we are using copper, which is a metal, so we are supposed to bring the chemical formula, I mean the chemical symbol of this copper metal, which is Cu. Remember, we have learned a chemical symbol of elements in Form 1. Okay, a copper is derived from, it is chemical symbol is derived from Latin name, cobram. So it has taken that Cu from there. Okay, but as oxygen gas, Oxygen chemical symbol is O, but oxygen is a gas. That means it exists in a molecular form. So there are some elements or there are atoms that exist in a molecular form. Those include chlorine. That means when you're writing a chemical equation, you have to put two down there because they exist in a molecular form. So we have something to do with hydrogen gas. You cannot write hydrogen, just H alone. It exists in a, in a, in a molecular form. So you have to put two, hydrogen gas or hydrogen molecule. Others include like bromine or bromine gas. We can talk about nitrogen gas. Nitrogen gas is written H2 like that. Others include oxygen gas. So these are elements that exist in a molecular form. Okay. So when you're writing a chemical equation, these atoms are written in, in two down. That means in this format, writing O2. That means they don't exist in atom form. Instead, they exist in a molecular form. Okay. So we are told... Uh, write the chemical symbol of uh, formula for both reactants and products. So that's oxygen. It exists in a molecular form, so we have to put two down there. Then we are going to get uh, our product. That is cobalt 2 oxide. So cobalt 2 oxide, when you're writing the chemical symbol of cobalt 2 oxide, you check copper and oxygen, and you know the valence of copper is 2, because we said there are some elements that have got variable valences. Uh, copper was one of them. So the valence of copper is 1, or it is having a valence of two. But which one is will be shown in the bracket. So here we are having copper two oxide. That means the valence of copper is two. So the one for oxygen is two. If you interchange, you have two here, and you have two on that other side. So you, you have a common factor, then you have to divide by two one, then by two one. So that means the chemical formula of the product will be CuO, which will be for copper two oxide. Okay, so here we are having copper two oxide. 
Thirdly, you check whether the number of atoms of each element on the reactant side is equal to that, to that on the product side. For example, if we check here copper is 1 on the reactant side and copper is 1 on the product side. But if you check oxygen, the reactant side is 2, but oxygen on the product side is 1. So this equation is not balanced. So if it's not balanced, what will you do? We are told if the number is not equal, multiply a chemical formula, multiply the chemical formula containing the unbalanced atom. In our case, it is oxygen with the lowest common multiple. Like, for example, we can decide to put two here. Okay, when you put two here, you are going to have two of copper. Then you have to put again two here so that you have two of copper. Then check oxygen. Oxygen is two, and here it became now two. Because this two is a multiple of copper and oxygen, because it is there. But if you have something to do like Cu, Cu2O, this means this two is for only copper, not oxygen. But if you put two like this, this two is a multiple of copper and also oxygen. So in our case here, we have two of copper, here two of copper. We have two of oxygen on the right hand side, even we have two of oxygen on the bottom right side. So this equation now is balanced. So thereafter, Romeo 5, we are supposed to check again to ensure that all the atoms are balanced. We have checked now. Lastly, a chemical equation is correct and complete if the physical states of the reactants and products are indicated. So we have to write the physical state. Like here, this equation, magnesium is solid because it is element, metal, oxygen is a gas, and magnesium oxide is a solid. So that is the chemical state. So we are told the following symbols represent the physical state which are written in brackets after each reactants or products. Solid will be written S, then liquid will be written L, or aqueous solution or in solution will be written AQ, comma, then gas will be written G. So for us to complete this equation which was balanced by putting the chemical symbol, copper will be solid, oxygen will be gas, and copper 2 oxide will be solid. So that's the end of our lesson. Inshallah, next class, we are going to, uh, to do balancing chemical equation. Thank you.